Hello, this is DIY Reptiles, and today we're just going to do a feeding video. So I'm going to turn on my animal's lights because it's nighttime, and we're just going to feed mostly the turtles just because they're fun to feed. And I have lots of roaches to feed them and some pellets and stuff, so let's just feed turtles and talk about stuff. So I just wanted to add this in here real quick. This is me feeding Richard. And I'm just feeding him doobie roaches with calcium powder without D3 on it because he has a UVB light, so he doesn't need vitamin D3 supplementation. And I'm just feeding him on the floor. It's generally what I do. I get him out, but his enclosure is on the floor, and I can open it up on the front, which you guys haven't seen. And you'll probably see other stuff in this video that you haven't seen. That's just because I have so many videos I need to edit. And today I was just like, screw it, let's do a feeding video and just feed animals. So that is what I'm doing. And I also cut up iguana food today as well, uh, but I, I didn't film that. So the rest of the video will just be feeding turtles, but I figured I would add this in here because I don't know. I have it, I guess. I'm not sure. Okay, now we're going to move on to... A little turtle. And I'll also have some food plates. Uh, so I have a bunch of worms. Little these are let's see. These are lesser mealworms, which are just oh. lesser mealworms are a type of darkwing beetle called the buffalo beetle and they live in and they're kind of the cleanup crew of the Duke Ridge colonies and the little turtle likes them. There's a little roach. There we go. So I only feed these periodically, uh, most of the time I just give them pellets, but uh, it's been, this one's been doing pretty well. I don't know if it's male or female because it is so small, but it really likes these, and it would like mealworms as well, or superworms, but I just don't have those and I only feed animals what I uh, breed, which I breed these, so. Okay, it looks like I'm out and I can try to give it some pellets. These pellets are kind of hard and they're adult turtle pellets, so I'm just going to put some in here and they will not, they will get uh, he'll be able to eat them once they're not so hard. The water will get into them. And also, it's shedding its skin, which is pretty normal for turtles, especially when they're growing. So, also when they have, like, skin problems and stuff sometimes. But it's normal, so that's why all this stuff is going on there. It's just it shedding its skin. So, here, I'm going to focus this down on these turtles and 
think I'm just going to try to feed him some of these pellets and see what happens. I think I'll like that. Actually, I'm going to pick out some roaches. Oh, jeez. I'm going to pick out some roaches because these aren't very efficient with these turtles. So, pick out some bigger roaches and feed those. So, again, I only do this occasionally. I'll get down here and I just grabbed a bunch. And then I have some calcium powder without D3 because they have UVB lighting. And she'll eat them. And then this turtle over here will also be interested. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh. Oh. There we go. And then the calcium gets into the tank, and it's not that big of a deal. There we go. And then these are two really old turtles especially this male over here and they're separated because they're both they're both aggressive so that's no fun but uh there we go um, as you can see their bite is quite strong considering they can easily just steal the tongs and it's making a mess, but the goldfish will eat a bit of it, and it's not that big of a deal. If they destroy the the roaches and cough out the different bits of them, then the goldfish will eat those bits. And then these are all rescues including the goldfish and I have a a bristlenose pocostomus over here with Norman which is a new rescue and uh, seems to be doing well which is really cool ah, what was that? there we go so again, this is only, normally I just feed Zoomed turtle pellets, but it's just like a treat. And I am done with these guys, so I'm going to move over to the other turtles. Okay, now I'm going to try to feed these two. And I have a bunch of smaller roaches. Let's see. Looks like Marcus just left. He's out. See, Lewis is just frantic, and that makes him kind of annoying to feed roaches, and that's why I don't do it with him very often. Because he just like frantically goes around and doesn't pay attention to where like you actually are. You can make him chase stuff. Here, come on. But he's always looking out the glass to the point that he doesn't even realize that it's right in front of him. Which can be kind of aggravating.
So, same situation. If you didn't know, everything's rescued, including the fish. Uh, these are just rescued turtles. There's also two other turtles back in here, which are Oshita map turtles. And then this is a western painted turtle. Marcus is a red eared slider, just like the other two. And then I have Susan, which is a yellow blight slider, which is down below these guys in her own tank. So again, there's lots of rosy red minnows. They're not feeder fish. They are just there to clean up whatever the turtles don't eat. But again, they just came with uh, turtles, but they're not feeder fish. Both goldfish and minnows are bad feeder fish for various reasons, but one of the main reasons is that they're, <coughs> they're high in thiamine, which, or thiaminase, yeah, thiaminase, which blocks the production of thiamine, which is like vitamin B. So they cause problems if fed obsess or fed too much to turtles. Essentially, that's what I'm getting at. Uh, which is a problem. So, or any animal in that matter. So if you're using them as feeder fish for other fish, or snakes, or anything like that, it's not good. Oops. That's disgusting. Okay, I'll just one more. But they are here to clean up what the turtles don't eat. So that's good. So I'm gonna take I just have one more. Oh my god, to Susan. Now Susan can put a, quite a lot of these down, so this will be an interesting thing to watch. I was feeding her some veggies earlier, so she took a lot of, it was a, uh, she ate a lot of zucchini, and I cut up zucchini for, well, for all the reptiles, but she ate a bunch of them. So she doesn't have any fish in with her for whatever reason. Um, she's also aggressive towards fish and she's massive as you can see. She's the biggest turtle almost 40 ounces, just a massive beast that can certainly put down 
a lot of DB roaches. And I'm trying to find her a home, uh, but it's hard because she is so big, she requires a lot. Here, look. And I want to make sure she goes to a good home. Because where she came from, it, was, it seemed like a nice tank with a, a nice people. But it was only a 55 gallon. And since I've had her, she's grown like exponentially. And I don't know why, but she has. And it's probably partly because she has a bigger tank. Uh, she has a nice basking area. She's outside for a while, and she gets fed well, so she's just grown huge, and she needs a big tank with people that know what they're doing. So I want to make sure she gets that, and I want to make really good sure, very sure that she gets that, because she's a big turtle, and she's going to live a long time. And she deserves a nice, to live a nice life, so. Okay, that is it. That is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, comments below. And if you want more content, then subscribe. Have a fantastic day.